Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin reacted yesterday perfectly to the $29,600 level, which was um, the key level that I communicated until yesterday. Uh, even though our scenario actually did not get invalidated, I still made an adjustment to the wave count yesterday. Anybody who watched or has been watching any videos uh, since yesterday knows already that there was a minor change into the micro on the micro level to this chart, but it doesn't really change targets in a significant way. And it also, uh, yeah, we was never invalidated. You know, the wave count that I communicated until yesterday, we never had an invalidation. Also, it's really just a minor wave count change on the smaller time frame or wave degree. Overall, the idea is still that we had a pretty bullish five wave move up of the 15th of June low to the 15th or 14th of July high. Yeah, it reached our target, worked out perfectly. We had to have a lot of patience. I know it was frustrating, but it was worth the wait for our target at 31.8k. That was my minimum target that I communicated back then and it was reached and I think it only went like $50 higher. We then were looking for a pullback in a wave two correction. That target area has now been reached as well. I think primarily it will still go lower. And we are looking here at a wave two correction in an ABC structure. And it looks like the A wave already bottomed here on the 18th of July. And uh, then we had a B wave up, which topped probably on the 20th of July. And now we are moving down in a C wave. My take is that this is an ending diagonal, a C wave in which we have an, um, I mean, this is just one possibility for a micro count. I'm sure there are other possibilities and probabilities, but it looks to me as if we have completed a wave one, we completed a wave two in the C wave. We're now in the third wave, which would be, as it seems, a three wave move. Now I had a few questions, you know, why can this not be the third wave here? And why can this not be the fourth wave here? It could be. Yeah, it could be. It would be a bit strange looking at the proportions um, because the wave three would be a little bit too short. And I typically want the wave three to reach the 1.618 extension also in a diagonal. And if it doesn't reach it, which it didn't, uh, well, it actually did. Yeah, no, it actually did. Um, it did, don't get me wrong, it did. Um, but it is certainly not an impulse. So it has to be a diagonal. Okay, so why is it not an impulse? Because this wave four did overlap with the wave one. That's why I made the wave count change yesterday. Okay, so there was until then the idea that the C wave would be an impulse and we had a nice wave one, we had a wave two, we had a wave three down. Okay, but the wave four went a little bit too high. Okay, it did not break above our resistance. So it didn't really invalidate anything in terms of price movements, but it did cut into the wave one price region. So from that point of view, it cannot be a wave four. Okay, so I have to move the third wave along and it is becoming a larger ABC structure in an ending diagonal. It is very choppy price action anyway. And looking at this move down, it is not clearly impulsive anyway. It looks rather like a diagonal structure, like something like a corrective move. And therefore, you know, this is just the academic side of it really. But I can tell you that it's more reliable to label it as a diagonal structure, which seems to be coming down in something that resembles a descending wedge, which it would be. Again, I don't really have enough waves and touch points to consider it a reliable wedge pattern, but it might go that way. And that would be a perfect, um, yeah, diagonal structure. Typical shape for a diagonal could be a price channel or such a wedge pattern. And these very often break to the upside. So at the moment, it looks as if this B wave might have topped yesterday at the $29,600 level, just a little bit above that, but it never sustained above $29,600. So the Fibonacci levels were very helpful, hopefully. And um, then the move down here could now occur as a C wave of wave three. I would then like to have another fourth wave and a fifth wave. Now, just technically, it doesn't need the fourth wave and the fifth wave if what is coming down here is not an ABC, but just a WXY structure, which is possible as well. And then the next low could be the last one. But to be reliable as a wave two correction, I typically want to see price come back to at least the 50% retracement. That's at 28.3K, ideally a little lower. And um, yeah, what I can do here to conclude the video, because there isn't much new stuff going on, but it looks like the B wave could have topped. 
is just to give you again an idea of where might that where that C wave might land. So we can do that by giving us um, calculating the length of the A wave, go to the height of the B wave, and then the one to one ratio here at twenty eight thousand, um, yeah, twenty eight thousand one sixty roughly would be a key target. The one hundred percent extension that very much overlaps with the twenty eight thousand one hundred level that we calculated before using a different Fibonacci relationship. So there is a lot of stuff here um, around 28, 28.3K 28 that could be relevant as a target. But at the moment, I have no evidence that an overall substantial low has been made. So the idea is still for it to go lower. Also, the wave count would suggest a little bit lower. And maybe overnight, we can see that happen here. Okay, and it would it would really need to take a break above 30k to consider something more bullish, way more bullish, okay? And ideally to really indicate that a lasting low is already in place, which it could be because we already reached the yellow support area. Um, I need to see five waves up followed by a three wave pullback. Okay, that's my update about Bitcoin. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.